worship you. Come on, can it, you're going to have to push in with me right now. We're contending for something in this spiritual realm. Come on, there's warfare happening over this event tonight. Somebody's going to have to help me. Somebody's going to have to push through. Come on, come on, come on. Father, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Do what only you can do, God. We're surrendered. We're surrendered. Have your way. Come on. Come on. I know somebody who can hear me has a fight on the inside of them. I know somebody who can hear me knows how to tarry in prayer. I know somebody who can hear me has a groan and a travailing from the Holy Spirit. Did you really expect the devil to give you the victory? Did you really expect spirits of religion and tradition to be okay with what we're doing on a college campus right now? I said somebody's got a fight in them. Warriors arise. Warriors arise. Warriors arise. Come on, if you have a prayer language, I want you to ascend into the heavenly realm. I want you to begin to intercede. We've got to do some work. We've got to do some work right now. I bind every spirit that would desire to cancel and thwart the plan of God over this event. I call forth warring angels to begin to fight on our behalf in the spiritual realm. I thank you, Father, that sons and daughters, prodigals are coming home. I thank you that our family will be saved. I thank you that every single person will be delivered here tonight, here tonight, here tonight, here tonight. Excuse me while I agitate some demons. I said, excuse me while I agitate somebody's religion and tradition that's held them back from the fullness. When I read the book of Acts, I see the apostles showing up to regions and they say, you're saying that you're Christians. Have you received the Holy Spirit? And the people responded in certain locations. They said, well, we've received the baptism of John by water, but we've never even heard of the Holy Spirit. And so I've got a question for you. I got a question for you, Connecticut. Has there anybody here who's heard of the Holy Spirit? I said, is there anybody here who's heard of the Holy Spirit? Hey, 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 my best friend, my comforter. Come on, somebody. The Holy Spirit is my guest of honor. I hope you didn't come to see Mike Signorelli. The Bible says if Christ be lifted up, he will draw all men unto him. Today, what you're about to encounter, only Jesus can get the credit for it. I said what you're about to encounter, no man can do that. How many of you are believing that tonight is the last night you'll be sick? Tonight is the last night you'll be demonized. Tonight is the last night that you're going to be restricted and held back. I see the new wine of the Holy Spirit flowing, flowing, flowing. Come on, let's just press in. Let's press in. Let's press in. Come on, I'm trying to stir you. I'm trying to stir you. If you feel something in your gut right now, it's deep calling to deep. 
if you feel something inside of your belly and you're saying, I don't know what I'm feeling right now, I'm telling you, you're being called into a higher dimension of authority. You're being called into a deeper depth right now. No spectators. I said no spectators. No spectators. Come on, continue to press, 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 press. No lethargy, no passivity. Come on, press. Hey, hey. Go to the one, go to the one, go to the one. All right, right here, we're going to make a prophetic declaration. We're going to make a prophetic declaration over your region. How many of you know that this word is sharper than any two-edged sword and it divides asunder even the soul from the spirit? Come on. And so right now there's people who came with carnality. There's people who came with flesh. Their thoughts are running rampant. Somebody right now feels like, man, I want to leave. It's not you that wants to leave. It's the demons inside of you that want to get out of this atmosphere. Let's make a deal tonight. You stay, but the demons leave. Let's make a deal. You stay, but the demons leave tonight. Tonight. I know I'm agitating right now, but I feel a thick darkness over this region. I feel a thick darkness over this region. I feel, I feel a network, an infrastructure of demonic activity. But I'm going to send the sword of the Spirit into this atmosphere right now. And we're going to experience an open heaven right here. How many of you are believing for an open heaven? And so here's what I need your help with. Help me on those symbols, son. Help me on those symbols. Shimmer them out. Okay, start low. Give me a two or a three. Okay, this is Psalm 105. I believe that if you could see in the spiritual realm right now, you would see a host of an angelic army that's here to accompany us, ministering angels. Come on, I'm telling you. Medically verifiable miracles have been happening all week. I've been waking up to text to my text community for people still getting healed. But see, what happens is people attend churches and they've been indoctrinated into this belief system that the things that happen in this book, they don't happen today. But I got news for you. The Bible is not the story of what happened. It's the story of what always happens. It's the story of what always happens. He still heals. He still delivers. He still sets free. I'm going to declare Psalm 105, but I need you to partner with this right now. And when I say something as a declaration over this atmosphere, I want you to partner with praise. I want you to make up your mind that you're going to be undignified. I want you to make up your mind that you don't care about the person next to you because their opinion is not going to get you to the next level. I said their opinion is not going to help you out. Some people that you came with wouldn't have even wrote a check to help you if you needed it. They wouldn't be there to move if you needed it. Sometimes you got to push the people aside and say, this is between me and God tonight. I'm going to get mine. I'm going to make sure that I leave free. Come on, can somebody say that they are free of the opinion of man in this place? So as I begin to speak this word out, partner with me. Join in agreement that this word is going forth. Are you ready? Yes. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon His name. Make known His deeds among His people. Sing to Him. Sing praises to Him. Tell of His wondrous works. Tell of His wondrous works. Tell of his wondrous works. He's still healing cancer. He's still healing brain trauma. He's still healing arthritis. Hey! Tell of his mighty works. 
Seek the Lord and His strength. Seek His presence continually. Remember. Somebody shout, remember. Somebody shout, remember. Somebody shout, remember. Remember the marvelous works that He has done. His miracles and the judgments He utters. O oh, offspring of Abraham, His servants, children of Jacob, His chosen ones. He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in the earth. He remembers His covenant forever. Forever. The word that He commanded for a thousand generations. The cut co- Oh, somebody doesn't hear me. He remembers His covenant for a thousand generations. That means that some of you, your father was an adulterer, and now you're an adulterer. If the devil can remember the covenant that he's made with your family, I said there's another covenant by the blood of the Lamb that declares you can be free in your generations. Hey, he remembers. He remembers. His covenant for a thousand generations. Listen, listen, some of you, Some of you, your mother was sick. Your grandmother was sick. Your great-grandmother was sick. Your great-great-great-grandmother. Some of you, your father was poor. Your grandfather was poor. Your great-great-grandfather in poverty and lack. But there's another covenant. The covenant of the blood of Jesus that says it may run in your family, but I am where it runs out. My generation is a new breed, a royal priesthood, a chosen generation, a peculiar people, a different people. Devil, you may have had my mom, but you won't have me. You may have had my dad, but you won't have me. Is there anybody who believes It stops with you. The curse stops with you. The curse stops with you. Is the seed of Abraham here? Is the seed of Abraham here? Something's breaking. Do you feel it breaking? Do you feel it breaking? The atmosphere is shifting. The devil tried to take you out. He should have got you when he could because you got too far. You live to see this day. You live to see this divine appointment. Some of you should have been murdered in the womb. There was an assignment of abortion on you in the womb. I said some of you tried to kill yourself. I said some of you had a plot for murder, but you've gotten too far. I said you've gotten too far. Now you're about to see why you lived to see this day. Can somebody shout out in the air? declare a new season, a new beginning. I'm here to declare the fulfillment of prophecy. Some of you have not been in an atmosphere of this level of the anointing and it's refreshing you because you've been in a dry and a weary place. I sense that you've been in a weary place, but I'm here to declare there is water in the wilderness. There's water in the desert places. Lift your hands towards heaven. The glory is about to fall. The glory is about to descend upon you. The water. You've been in a dry and weary place. There's a wave of refreshing now before a minister even touches you. Before anybody lays hands on you. The glory. The glory. The glory. The glory is descending upon you. The glory. The glory. 
some of you are being healed already. Some of you are already receiving a healing now. The glory, the glory. The glory is descending upon you now. The glory is descending upon you now. More, 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 Lord, more, 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 more. Here it is. There's a wave. More, 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 more. Hey, shame the Ha! Hey, more, more, more. The glory. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hear the Lord saying to somebody, You have been willing to look like a fool for me. And now it will be credited unto you as wisdom. And those who have ridiculed, those who have mocked, those who have misunderstood will stand by and watch a mighty Redeemer begin to move in your situations and deliver you by my hand. And it was credited to you wisdom. They didn't understand your songs. They didn't understand your prayers. But they will know and understand the provision and the power. And they will know and understand the results of the wisdom of seeking me. It's been credited to you as wisdom, says God. Wisdom. Wisdom. Because you were willing to stay faithful, because you were willing to endure, because you were willing to press in, because you were relentless. Oh, I feel the love of the Father in this place. You all love God. I can feel you pulling on Him now. Oh, there's a deep, deep love in this place. I feel it. There's a deep, deep love. Many of you have loved God despite your spouse ridiculing you. Some of you have even loved God despite, despite your household understanding. And I feel the Lord responding to you right now. Responding to you right now. Whoa. <laughs> yes, Lord. Come on. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, I'm just letting the Lord minister right now to you. That's all right. Just let Him minister to you. Because right now we're doing the preparation for what He's going to do next. He's breaking some things up. He's breaking some things up on the inside. Come on. Come on. He's breaking some things up on the inside right now. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, let Him do what He's got to do. <laughs> Come on. He's speaking, he's speaking, he's speaking, he's speaking, he's speaking. <laughs> yes, yes. There's going to be a release of identity. You will leave confident in who you are tonight. I said you will leave confident in who you are tonight. There's been a warfare over your identity. There's been a warfare over your identity. You are not your past. You are not your mistakes. You are not. I break the power of condemnation now in the name of Jesus. This woman's receiving deliverance right here from condemnation. You, right now, condemnation, loose her now and let her go. Condemnation, loose the daughter of God now and let her go. Loose her now. I break your power off of her mind. You cannot have her mind. You cannot have her mind. You will not torment her. I break your power now. I silence you, shame. Shame, shame, come out. Shame, come out. 
Back up, back up, prayer team. Give her some room. The Lord's going to do this by his finger. He's going to cast these spirits out. Shame, go. She is the daughter of God. She belongs to him. Loose her now. Shame, condemnation, guilt, go now in the name of Jesus. Now, go, go, go. There's more, there's more, there's more. You can begin to pray for her. I break mind control now in the name of Jesus. Loose her and let her go. Mind control. I sever every tentacle to her mind right now. No more domineering. No more controlling. No more manipulating. Go now, 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 now. Every single one of you. Go, go. Let me have one of my prayer team members over here. There's more work to be done. There's a war for identity happening in this place. And I want to encourage you. There's two kinds of shouts we're going to celebrate tonight. The shout of God's people and the scream of demons coming out. Okay. Wow. How many of you just feel the Holy Spirit ministering so strongly? Come on. Now here's something I need you to understand though. Is that when you when you hear the gospel, the gospel unfortunately is not a 15 second prayer at the end of a good church service. As a matter of fact, in most of our churches, the pastors love to get us to do a 15 second prayer where we confess Christ as our Savior and we raise our hand and they count the number of hands that were raised but unfortunately confession is the first step but the Bible says that we must repent repent means I'm never going back and so what happens is I encounter so many people who they say Pastor Mike I thought I was a Christian and I said yes you've confessed your sins but you've never repented all you've done is gotten really transparent with what you struggle with. And so what I want to tell you is Romans chapter 10 verse 9 says, If you will confess with your mouth, believe in your heart that He is the Savior, you will be saved. But when Jesus was confronting people, He asked them to give up every idol. And it was not possible to enter the kingdom by giving 99%. Because 99% of surrenderedness is 100% unsurrendered. Can I get an amen? And so here's the thing. There's many of you who would say, Pastor Mike, how could a Christian have a demon? But let me help you understand. Many people think that they're a Christian because they go to church. But you do not become a car because you stand in a garage. And just because you attend church doesn't mean that, that you've 100% surrendered. And just because you confessed doesn't mean you ever repented. There's pastors who need deliverance from demons. I said there's pastors who need deliverance from demons. And I'm here today because a lot of pastors are obsessed with growing their church. But the ministry of Jesus said nobody builds a house without first calculating the cost. And so I don't want you to make a decision out of emotionalism right now. I don't want you to make a decision out of the music. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna give you a little bit of time right now to seriously take inventory and say, can you 100% surrender? Because there's pastors who are sexual perverts who couldn't surrender their sexuality. They surrendered their intellect. They surrendered many other aspects of their life, but they would never give their sexuality. And that unsurrendered part of their life becomes a kingdom for darkness. There's many Christians who say, God, I'll give you this, I'll give you that, but I'll never give you that forgiveness over the person who molested me because they don't deserve forgiveness. But the true gospel demands, demands, that we give no less than 100%. The true gospel 
says that we forgive everyone because he forgave us when we don't deserve it. And so right now, the freedom that we're going to experience tonight, it's very simple. It's going to be the freedom that occurs from 100% surrenderedness. And so people come because they hear about deliverance. People come because they hear about miracles. It's possible for Jesus to heal your body, but then your soul goes to hell. So I want to make sure that tonight, before we take another step, you seriously search your heart right now and say, God, I'm preparing in a few moments when Pastor Mike asks to give 100%. That means everything, everything, everything. I want you to search your hearts right now. That means I'm going to ask you to forgive people who you have not been able to forgive. It means I'm going to ask you to give up counterfeit comforts like e-cigarettes, marijuana, pills, heroin, counterfeit comforts like pornography, counterfeit comforts. It's, it means I'm going to give everything up. I'm not just going to confess, but I'm going to repent. Come on, the Holy Spirit's moving on some hearts right now. The Holy Spirit's moving on hearts. Now I want to ask you, take a few more moments. Because no one builds a house without first calculating the cost. I'm not asking you, will you go to church every week? I'm not asking you if you'll listen to worship songs and read your Bible. I'm asking you, will you surrender everything for once and for all? Not, I'll read more science and then I'll give God my doubt. Because the Bible says, for without faith, it's impossible to please God. And so it's not about increasing your understanding. It's about increasing your submission and saying, God, your ways are higher than my ways. Your thoughts are higher than my thoughts. I'll never be able to understand. That's why you are God and I am not. I'm dealing with something right now. I'm, I, I feel like I'm contending for some souls right now. A few more moments, a few more moments, because I'm going to ask you if you want to give everything. Finally, give everything. Oh, shit. I know more. Okay, I'm going to ask right now. Now, if you say, Pastor Mike, I want to give everything to the Lamb. I want to surrender everything. Would you just lift your hands with me right now? Wow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want everybody to say this with me right now. Say, Heavenly Father, forgive me of my sins. I thank you for the cross where I was forgiven. Wash me with your blood. I surrender all, every thought, every memory, all trauma. I unlock every door. Have it all. My body, my appetite, my intellect. I surrender it to you. It's all yours. I will follow you all my days. I belong to you. In Jesus' name. Does somebody shout amen? Okay, are you with me? Are you still with me? Because now, let me explain something to you. I've got to make this very plain. How many of you know that the devil is a trespasser? He's a violator. He's a trespasser. Now listen, what just happened when you made that decision to surrender is all of you belongs to God. But that doesn't mean that the devils won't try, demons won't try to trespass. That they won't try to hold on to a right they don't have. Let me give you an example. I live in New York City. Pray for me. There are times where people don't even have a lease to the apartment, but they squat in the apartment. And they stay there even though they don't have legal right to the apartment. There's no lease, but they stay. So what has to happen is a delegated authority from the government, a marshal, has to show up 
and with a badge and a gun and has to say, get out of this apartment, you have no legal right. So here's what just happened. You just surrendered all of you to Jesus. But I'm here with spiritual authority to cast out demons. And I'm here to evict some things from your life tonight. I'm here to say they don't belong to you anymore. And we're going to begin to go deep, 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 deep. Because you're going to get free. Let me show you something in the scriptures. This is the ministry of Jesus. This is not Pentecostalism. This is not the charismatic movement. Uh, listen, this is the ministry of Jesus. This is not a denomination on display. This is Jesus doing what He did 2,000 years ago, what the apostles did, and what the church has continued to do. And so let me tell you, in Luke chapter 11, verse 14, it says, Now He was casting out a demon that was mute, and when the demon had gone out, the mute, mute man spoke, and the people marveled. Now let me just explain something to you. There was somebody who had a physical condition. The origin of the condition was not biological. It was spiritual. Let me say this. We have people from medical professions that not only attend our church, but follow us to each event. And we encourage you to get a medically verifiable miracle and to go and partner with doctors to confirm what we know by faith. But I want to go deeper. If it's a demon, and it's not something biological. You cannot solve it with a pill. You cannot counsel a demon. You can only cast it out. I just read a scripture where the man was mute. How many of us, if somebody couldn't speak, would send them to physical therapy their entire life? But is there any Christian discerning enough to say, I see the demonic that needs to be cast out? There's another woman who for years and years was bent over, unable to stand up. How many pastors would have sent her to physical therapy? How many pastors would have tried to correct her posture by a chiropractor? But Jesus showed up and he didn't say, be healed in your body. He didn't utter those words, even though he did on other occasions. What Jesus actually said was spirit of infirmity come out. And then the woman stood up completely straight. Why am I saying this? Because there's biblically illiterate Christians that are more critical than the minute of the true ministry of Jesus than unsaved people. And I find in environments like this, in unsaved people tend to receive what God's doing more than religious Christians. And so I'm here to offend you all the way to heaven instead of people pleasing your religious ideologies all the way to bondage. Because we're going to deal with some spirits of infirmity. But also, sometimes Jesus prayed for healings and people were healed. Come on, there's already people receiving deliverance. There's already people receiving deliverance. Now what can you expect? I need you to make a commitment that you are going to continue to partner with the Holy Spirit tonight. And that you are going, let me just tell you this. I got one last thing to say that we're really going to dive in because you can see the atmosphere is continuing continuing to elevate into greater levels of glory. You can feel it. Some of you are hearing the screams of those who are demonized as they're being delivered already. But I want to tell you, every military on the planet wears fatigues. Why? Because there's an advantage to hiddenness. The devil wants to remain hidden in your life. And so what I'm going to do is expose every work of darkness that I can expose as we let the light of Christ begin to flood your soul, your mind, your body. But I want you to make up your mind that tonight, no demon hides. No, I said tonight, no demon hides. No demon hides tonight. None, 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 none.
Now we just prayed that we would be forgiven by God. But I want to challenge you right now. You're looking at someone who had multiple abusive stepdads, raised on welfare and social systems, rejected, abused physically and hurt. And I've had to make hard decisions to forgive. There are times where your dad should have been there, but he wasn't there. I said there are times where your dad should have been there, but he wasn't there. There's times where your mother, you needed your mother to, in gentleness, love you, but she was cold. There's times where you're in a relationship with somebody and they, they wound you, they hurt you. So right now what we're going to do all across this field is we're going to enter a place of forgiveness for them. But I want to tell you this, rheumatoid arthritis, rheumatoid arthritis, low back pain, many physical conditions are connected to bitterness, unforgiveness. Many of you right now have spirits of anger on the inside of you because things happen to you. High blood pressure. High blood pressure can be connected to anger. Years and years and years of anger, shoving it down. Some of you were hurt by pastors, pastors that should have loved you, pastors that should have seen your gifting, but they didn't, and you've carried offense. And so right now, I want you to just close your eyes to remove every distraction. Come on, this young man just got down on his knees. Something's happening in him. Because I'm going to ask you to do something that demons hate. I want you to say the names of the people who hurt you out loud, but I want you to say that you forgive them. We're going to count to three, and some of you are going to feel demonic resistance because you're going to try to say the name, but that demon won't let you say the name. But you've got to push because the Holy Spirit dwells on the inside of you. And the Holy Spirit's going to empower you to forgive. Some of you have never been able to forgive your rapist. But you're going to be able to forgive because the Holy Spirit is going to empower you. Not because they deserve forgiveness, but because you deserve to be free. Some of you are going to begin to say their name when I count to three. And we're going to break some demonic bondages off of you now. Are you ready? One, two, three. Come on, say their names. I forgive Tim. I forgive John. I forgive Anthony. I forgive Joe. I forgive. Come on, say their name. Come on, say their name. Say their name. Enter forgiveness. I forgive. I forgive. Somebody needs to say, I forgive myself. I hear the Lord telling me to tell somebody. You need to say the words, I forgive myself. I forgive myself for failing, for falling short. Oh, there's freedom. Freedom. Emily, lay your hand right here on her head. The Lord's freeing you right now. Yes. Right now. Yes, 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 yes. Mental bondage be broken off of her mind now. Mental bondage. Even from a situation and a circumstance you haven't been able to stop thinking about, you would have done it different. Is this right? You've been obsessing over a circumstance or a situation, you would have done it differently? Come on. The Lord says, I make all things new. I make all things new. He's setting it straight. Come on, He's working it out in your favor. There it is. Just lift your hands all the way up. Yeah, there it is. Emily, come around to the front, to the front. Lay your hand on her forehead. There it is. We break the power of every bit of demonic bondage in her mind. We pull down every stronghold of repeated thoughts. Now in the name of Jesus, go deeper, go deeper, go deeper. Who else? Who else? Somebody's forgiving their father for the first time. Somebody's forgiving their father for the first time. Somebody's forgiving their father for the first time. Here it is. Freedom, 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 freedom. Come on, let's go deeper with forgiveness. Let's go deeper with forgiveness. 
Let's go deeper, deeper, deeper with forgiveness. Father, we release them. We release them now. Wow. Is Pastor Patrick here? Come here. Come here for a second. Just stand right here and face the crowd. Pastor Patrick is here right now as a representative of a spiritual father. I want to do something and be bold because I feel like the Lord's dealing with father wounds right now. I, I want to specifically start with the men. If you're a man and you feel like you need to forgive your father, we're going to have Pastor Patrick right here as a phys physical, visible representation of a father and I want you to come and be reconciled and I want you to come and give him a hug. Step out of the crowd and come now. Come now if you need to get free. Wow. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The spirit of Elijah that turns the hearts of the father to their children and children to their father. Freedom. Freedom! Freedom! Look at every generation, every color. Come on, this is a revival! Somebody shout! Look at these men coming. Wow! Every age, every color, every season of life. Look at them coming. Wow. Wow. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Wow. 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 The anointing is so strong. Come on, the anointing is breaking every yoke of bondage. It's destroying every chain. There's some men here tonight who need to hear the words of your Heavenly Father declaring, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, son. I'm proud of you, son. I hear the Lord saying to somebody, you've never even heard the words before. I'm proud of you. Somebody's wrestling saying, why, why, why? And the Lord's saying, because you never gave up, because you never quit, because you never killed yourself, because you never backed down, because you, you refused to bend your back to all those spirits of suicide and depression. Look at this, it's a revival. It's a revival. The Lord's saying, I'm proud of you, I'm proud of you, I'm proud of you. Come on. Wow. Heavenly Come on, there's more ministry that's happening right now. I want to deal with an issue that we've been encountering at every single revival tour location. How beautiful. My heart is moved with compassion to see the restoration that's occurring already. Come on, there's people who've gone to church for 30 years and haven't seen what you just saw in the last 30 minutes. God is on the move. He's moving. The dominoes are dropping around the world. It's a revival. Come on, there's a new awakening happening in the Spirit. Wow. Some of these men have never felt the hug of their physical father. Some of these men have never had a time to go to their dad for advice. Look what's happening. But I want to deal with something right now. I want to make some space right here in the front. And I want you to be bold because this thing that I'm about to confront, people at every tour location have said, Pastor Mike, I've struggled with this for years and years and nobody knows. 
and they're even sometimes intimidated by the idea of exposing it. But I believe that the most freedom happens when you step fully into the light of Christ. How many of you can affirm that there is no judgment in this area and that people can be free of the opinions of people no matter what that means? Because what I'm about to say right now is there are people that go to family functions and they laugh and they eat food and they have a great time and then within days after that they commit suicide. And I've done many funerals of those who have committed suicide and the families always say the same thing. They say, we never saw it coming. We never knew. And so right now, there's probably many of you who have been tormented for years and years and years by a reoccurring thought of suicide to kill your life. Can I tell you that the devil will whisper thoughts in your ear and he'll get you to even rehearse your own suicide. And for years and years and years, people are over and over and over rehearsing it. But tonight, we are going to break a demonic rehearsal and we're going we're gonna to take rehearsal into revival. Re rehearsal of a suicide into renewal, into restoration, into revival. So I want to ask you to come out of the crowd and come up if you've struggled with thoughts of suicide. My, my, my. Come on. Put it right here. Put it right here. Wow. My, my, my. My, my, my. My, my, my. Look at all these precious people. Come on, there's more. Somebody's still faking it. Take off the mask. Take off that demonic mask. Take off that false persona. Thoughts of suicide. Rehearsing your own death. Come on, come out of the crowd. Come into the light of Christ. We're going to cancel suicides. I'm going to give a few more moments. Look at this precious. <laughs> many lives would we have lost if we just did religion as usual this should break your heart like it breaks God's heart how many lives are we going to lose if we're not paying attention to the Holy Spirit come on there's a few more they're just weeping because many of them are receiving deliverance already but there's a few more there's a few more rehearsal. Wow. Yes. Yes. Everybody who's still in the back, I want you to stretch your hands towards the front because I need you to join your faith with mine, okay? Join your faith with mine. Just begin to pray for everybody here because some of them here have been lied to about their physical body. They hate their body. They hate their family. They hate their life. And you need to begin to help me pray because there's something about to be broken off of them that they have waited years and years. Come on, begin to pray. Right now, I take authority over every demonic spirit of suicide. And I command you to come out of their mind now. Out. Out, out, out. Come out of their mind now. Every spirit of death, every spirit of murder, self-harm, come out, out, out. Low self-esteem, every single spirit. Oh, come on, out, up and out. Break the power of suicide now. Oh, out, out, out. Every single one of you foul spirits, out, out, loose her, loose her now, out, up and out, 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 she doesn't belong to you, yes, 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 every stronghold down, out, 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 now, 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 now. Oh, there it is. There it is. 
There it is. There it is. There it is. You will live. You will live. You will live. You will live. The devil has lied to you about your future, tried to convince you you'll never truly be happy, that you'll never truly be loved, that you'll never truly be accepted. I see the lies of the devil. He's tried to tell you it'll never really get good. You'll never have 100% joy. You're always going to lack joy. But right now, I break that off of you in the name of Jesus. Break. Oh, the anointing is all over you. Yes. Freedom, freedom, freedom. Wow, wow. Now, now, now. Out! Come out of her. You cannot have her. You cannot have her. Out! 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 Out now! Anger, come out. Anger, come out. She's been so angry. Angry for what happened. Angry for what was done to her. But you cannot torment her anymore. Out now. There it is. Yes. Depression. Suicide. Discouragement. Go. Go. Out. Out now. 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 Out. Every single one of you now. Out. Out. Break the power of every demonic spirit now. tried to get in at an early age you tried to manipulate her at an early age and I command you out even from her childhood where you entered you must come out now you've been in too long out 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 now out put your hand on her stomach out continue to pray our team is praying with them up front I want to I want to pray for healing right now is there anybody here now I know we've already filled up this front section but God can touch you even at the full back of this entire lot is there anybody here who needs healing I'm gonna ask for some specific conditions as the Holy Spirit revealed but I want to start there's an unusual grace that we've seen for rheumatoid arthritis. Anybody with arthritis that needs healing. Joints, tendons, hands, knees. Okay, Father, I thank you now for healing, touching their body now. Rheumatoid arthritis, be healed. Arthritis, be healed now. Now, now. Father, I thank you that their body is lining up with your word. Right now, complete and total healing. God, that there's even resurrection power your virtue filling their body now to heal 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 father i thank you for healing backs straighten backs now straighten backs now lower back pain upper back i, I see the lord healing you lungs somebody i don't know if it's long covid asthma begin to take a deep breath come on the Lord's healing your lungs right now. Healing lungs, just every breath, every breath. The virtue of God, the virtue of God. Fill, 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 fill. Healing, 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 healing. Wow. Now what I want you to do in, in this atmosphere of healing is test out your healing. Sometimes you've got to cooperate with God because people will be healed unaware. 
because they're going through the motions. Backs, knees, ankles, pain reduction. Pain, go. Pain, go. Pain, nerves, tendons, even nerves, the central nervous system, the spine. Nerves, be healed now. Tingling, go away now. Be healed. Thank you, Father. Healing, healing, healing is here. Thank you, Father, for healing. receiving deliverance right now there's many people receiving deliverance right now come on the Lord is ministering to so many people we're just going to continue to move through each layer of freedom now somebody has already brought pills to the front is there anybody here who says pastor Mike I need to be free in the area of addiction or my appetite is there anybody here that needs to bring pills, that needs to bring e-cigarettes, cigarettes, marijuana, heroin? Bring it out. Bring it to me now. If there's anybody here, bring it to me now because deliverance is about to happen for addiction. Addiction. Is there anybody, is there anybody that needs to physically bring it now? Bring it now physically. If not, we're going to pray for all kinds of addiction. We've already got pills. Is there anything else? Let's give everybody a second to come if they need to come. E-cigarettes, cigarettes, alcohol, pornography, heroin, addiction of all kinds. All right, if you want to be free from addiction, I want you to just lift your hands and pray this prayer with me right now. Say, Heavenly Father, I thank you. Come on, there's more people bringing. Just say, Heavenly Father, I thank you for freedom in the area of my appetites and the area of my desires. Now everybody say this. Say, I break and release myself from all demonic control every addiction I break and release myself from the curse of addiction even in my generations alcoholism I break the curse now sex addiction perversion I break the curse now by the blood of Jesus now say this every demonic spirit connected to addiction I command you to come out of me come out of my appetite come out of my mind come out of my eyes come out of my hands out 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 in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus out 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 rooster come out of her now out of her now come out of her now out 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 there's many more receiving deliverance there's many more receiving deliverance out 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 wow wow I want to help you understand what just happened. But I want to show you what this represents. At some point in your life, you're going to go through some things that you don't know how to cope with. And what happens is there's a counterfeit. And see what this cigarette represents 
is not just addiction. It represents a counterfeit comfort. This cigarette represents somebody saying, this is going to calm me down. This is going to help get me through. But see, the gospel says, give me that and I'll give you something better. Give me, give me this comfort and I'll give you a greater comfort. I'll be there when you don't know what to think. And that's why I declare that cigarettes do not have any legal right, any hold anymore. You can keep it. I don't need your nicotine. I don't need your tobacco. I don't need your marijuana. You can go ahead and keep your heroin. You can go ahead and keep your alcohol because I've got the Holy Spirit. I've got comfort. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. What does this represent? This represents the wisdom of man. Sometimes you've got to be willing to exchange the wisdom of man for the wisdom of God. Sometimes Luke the physician needs to turn into Luke the apostle. And he said, I'm going to exchange what I know about medicine for what I'm going to learn about the miraculous. And this represents sometimes mentally people for years and years. They trust in this. But somebody's saying, I will trust the Lord. I will trust the Lord. Come on. Let every idol be destroyed tonight. Let every idol be destroyed tonight so that only Christ remains. Okay, I want to deal with something. Now, understand that before I got to you tonight, I've seen some things. And so when I'm telling you the things that I'm telling you, it's coming from a a great place of not just biblical understanding, but a great place of experience. And there's many of you that don't know the thing I'm getting ready to speak into is actually an operation in your life because you yourself have no recollection or memory of doing it. But I want to confront this thing because sometimes in the generations, on your mother's and your father's side, there are things that travel down your lineage and you need to get free in the area generationally. Now here's the thing. I've been feeling it very strong. We have many prayer team members here tonight. We're probably going to have to even extend deep into the crowd because what's going to happen right now is going to be an unusual amount of demonic manifestations. Some of you are going to begin to vomit. I'm saying this because there's such a strong authority that we have over principalities and over demons that this is happening at every location. Some of you are going to begin to convulse because demons are going to manifest because they've never been exposed. But I want to talk about this. Now, why did I start in the way that I started? Cigarettes, pills. Somebody, while I was doing this, just brought up an e-cigarette. One of our young people getting free, getting free, getting... But how many of you know, confession is admitting it. Repentance is saying, no turning back. Young people with addicted to materialism and status. Somebody just brought up a pair of shoes and said, my identity is in Christ alone. My identity is in Christ alone. My sneakers don't define me. Materialism, that idol. Do you guys see idols coming down? Hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. All right. But why did I do that? Cigarettes, pills. The root word in Greek is pharmakia. What does that sound like? Pharmacy. Witchcraft. 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 
Witchcraft. I'm getting ready to deal with generational witchcraft. Now watch. Right here in this place, demons are already intimidated by the sound of my voice because I made a promise and I'm going to keep my promise to every demon. And here's what my promise is. You can't hide tonight. You are not free in this place to hide. I'm coming for you. But witchcraft, what is it? Horoscopes. Horoscopes. I said horoscopes. We live in a day and age where you will not find a Bible at the grocery store, but you'll find books teaching your children how to do tarot card readings. Are you kidding me? We see the agenda of the demonic trying to program our children. Horoscopes, tarot cards, Ouija boards, burning sage. You did not cleanse your house when you burnt sage. You, it was an invocation to the demonic. You were deceived. Let me give you another practice. Talking to the dead. Necromancy. Why? Because you get stuck in a season of grief. And you tell your loved one who died, show me a sign. And then the demon begins to impersonate the one that you lost. And now you don't realize that you have a full-blown relationship with a familiar spirit. It's a demon in disguise. You're, the, the loved one that passed on did not turn into an angel. The loved one that passed on, the Bible says it's appointed to all of us once to live and then die. It's heaven or hell. But we talk to the dead not realizing they're demons in disguise. And so by that account, you stepped into witchcraft, voodoo, obia, spells, incantations. This is what I'm coming for. The devil's so smart that you'll even read something back out loud and pronounce a curse over your life and not even know it. Spoken word curses. So right now, if you would be willing and you truly want to get free, I want to deal with witchcraft. Are you ready? I love seeing while, while I'm, we're getting ready to pray, but I, I just, idols are coming down. Somebody brought their makeup. Their makeup. What does makeup represent? What does it represent? For, no, there's nothing necessarily wrong with makeup. Just like there's nothing wrong with these shoes. But sometimes it becomes an idol. And sometimes God says, this is not going to serve you in the next season. Because I, I, be I turn ashes into beauty. I give the oil of gladness for mourning. Witchcraft. How does witchcraft enter into our lives? It enters at a time of great trouble and distress. I need direction. I need clarity. But I believe that there's a prophetic people under the sound of my voice. But I need you to get free from a familiar spirit so then you can discern the Holy Spirit. Lift your hands. Lift your hands in a sign of surrender. I want you to repeat after me. Say, Heavenly Father, Forgive me for all new age, all witchcraft, all divination. Forgive me for all counterfeit spirituality. Forgive me for false religion, false worship. Forgive me. And Father, I ask you now to break every curse of witchcraft, every curse of divination, all curses to the occult be broken by the blood. And now, every demon connected to witchcraft, I command you to come out, to loose me, to go now, out, out, out in the name of Jesus. Right now, I just command every spirit of the occult, every familiar spirit, every spirit of witchcraft to go now, out, out, in the name of Jesus. Out, out, voodoo, witchcraft, even from the generations. Go now, go now, out, out, in the name of Jesus. Out, now, now. Whoa. 
Yes, yes. Out now. Come out of her now. Come out of her now. Yes. Every spirit of witchcraft, go now. You cannot have her. I command you out. Out of her now. Out. In the name of Jesus. Heather, place your hand on her head right now. Right now. Manipulation. Domination. Control. Go. Out. Now. Out. Every single one of you. Out. There's more. There's more. Wow. There's more. There's more. Wow. Do you know what I sense right now? Some of you are starting to experience a peace that you have never felt in your entire life. The absence of demons is the presence of peace. Some of you have felt they just wave at me if something is changing in your mind. How many of you feel just wave at me so I can see if you just because I feel it right now. I think some of you are even in shock because you're like, wow, I haven't had this clarity. I haven't had this clarity. I haven't even had this level of clarity. It's probably even overwhelming you because the warfare in your mind has been for so long. But I release peace, 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 peace. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yes. just waiting upon the Lord right now. Come on, Lord, have your way. There's just like the blood of the lamb is over the doorposts of the home and the spirit of death passed by. Amen? Amen. So I'm going to have my team. Dan, can you pray for him? Yeah. I want to ask the question, is there anybody here with cancer? Is that, oh wow, you are already walking towards me. Wow. Okay, that's a confirmation for you. That's a confirmation for you. Were you not just walking up to me right now? Yes, I was gonna ask, I was gonna ask you to pray for me. My uh, my dad died of cancer and I have the same cancer. Okay, now listen. This man just walked up to me from the side of the stage 
while he was walking up, I immediately was quickened in the spirit that God wants to heal cancer. Now, but I want to say something. Every single one of us believe that medically things run in family like heart disease, high cholesterol. But how many, but sometimes when I say that there are demons that will trans, transmit through the generations, there's unbelief. But I want to tell you, I started tonight by saying that he remembers, God remembers his covenant for a thousand generations. And so I believe that the curse can be broken and that, that th this man will represent the first to see the promise of God's healing fulfilled in his life. Is there anybody else with cancer who needs prayer? Come up now. Come up now. Just line the front of the stage right now. Now, for the audience, I want to help you understand there was a moment where even Jesus removed doubt from the room. And so what I need from you is I need you to come together through the power of agreement and I need you to operate in faith. How many of you believe that in the name of Jesus, cancer cells die? No, 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 no. I'm going to ask again. How many of you believe that at the sound of his voice, cancer cells die? All right. I'm going to lay my hands. The Bible says when you're sick, bring the sick and they'll lay hands on you. I'm going to lay my hand and physically pray for each one of you. And I believe in, that you will be healed. I'm praying the prayer of faith, okay? I'm going to pray the prayer of faith. There's, everybody's here, okay? Father, we release your healing power right now. Healing power right now. From the top of her head to the soles of her feet. Healing now. Oh, the healing virtue of God right now. Filling your body. Filling your body. Filling your body. Wow. Oh, I feel it. Yes. Healing power. Let me have your hand. I release the healing power of God now. Healing healing to restore every cell in his body. I break every single curse of sickness and disease off of you now. I break it by the blood of the Lamb now and I release healing power. Healing power now. Healing power now. Healing from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Heal. Be healed. The virtue of Jesus Christ to fill your body now. Wow, you're shaking all over. You're shaking all over. Do you feel the power of God? You're shaking. I feel it releasing into your body. Vessel of gold. A vessel of gold. A vessel of gold. It's felt like a vessel of wood, but he's upgrading your body to a vessel of gold right now. Your body will not hold you back. Your body will not hold you back. Power of God. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Power of God. Breathe. Fire, fire, fire. Fire upon his body. Fire, fire, fire. It's all over you. It's all over you. Yes, yes, yes. The Lord told me to tell you it's going to be a progressive healing. You're going to wake up stronger every day. You're going to keep waking up stronger every day. Stronger, 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 stronger every day. Who? Who? Who's his parents? You see him shaking? You see him shaking like this? I want to tell you, he's shaking under the power of God. I don't do hype. I don't do hype. It's very destructive to hype. You understand? 
but what he's experiencing while he's shaking right now is the healing power of God because his faith has activated the supernatural. He's going to wake up stronger every day. You're, I want you to take pictures, take videos, and chart the journey. His body is not going to be his limitation. The power of God's all over him right now, and the Lord show me he's going to strengthen. It's going to be visible, though, and it's going to happen progressively. Amen. Tomorrow we go for his Okay. Wow. I didn't even know that. Yeah, I just see his body strengthening right now. It's all over him right now. Cool. Your faith, 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 faith. Yeah, let him stay there. All right. Wow. I want to thank all of you for staying. I want, I want to thank you for being patient. I'm still praying for people. But there are people who have tests tomorrow. There are people getting scans tomorrow. The heaven, heaven is invading this place right now. Destinies are being decided right now. Listen, I know that we live in a microwave society where everybody wants to drive through experience, but there are some things that take time. There are some things that have to be contended for. There are some things that must be tarried for. This is revival. Some of you, the devil's counting on you going home. The devil's counting on you giving up. The devil's counting on you getting hungry. But I want to know who wants to go deeper. Who wants to go deeper with me? Come on, continue to press in. Now, healing power. Healing power. I command cancer to die. Every cell, die. Every cancerous cell, die. In the name of Jesus. Every tumor, every cyst. Now, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. I want the root out. Huh? I want the root out. That's it. From the root. From the root. Now, from the root, come out. I break every generational curse of sickness and disease. And I command the spirit of infirmity to go now in the name of Jesus. Even from his father's side. From the root. From the root now. Oh! Hey, there it is. Out. Out. Yes, there it is. From the root. From the root. Out. Yes. Every bit of it gone. 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 Waves of glory. Waves of his presence. Waves of the Spirit. Waves. Waves. Hated it in the Healing power now. Healing power be released from the top of her head to the soles of her feet now. Be released now. Yes. Restore, 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 restore. Every damaged DNA, every damaged DNA be restored now. Every damaged cell be restored. Come into alignment now. Now, 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 now. Whoosh. Wow. The power of God is just flooding you. Can you feel it? Yeah, just take deep breaths because right now there's a restoration. Your body is being restored. Wow. The years that the locust and the canker worm and the palmer worm have, have taken will be restored. Sickness, go now. Run up here if you need to be healed from chronic illness. Come up here now. Chronic illness, lupus, chronic pain, come up. Chronic illness. The Lord's getting ready to heal chronic illness. Come on up. Chronic illness. Oh, woman of great faith. Woman of great faith. Receive power. More, 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 more. Woo. What do you need healing for? Chronic pain and paralysis. You? Yeah. Oh, yes. What's paralyzed? Um, his whole body is paralyzed. Okay. Wow. Loose him now in the name of Jesus. I cancel every single assignment on his life. I cancel it by the blood of Jesus now. Every demonic assignment, I cancel it now in the name of Jesus. I cancel it. And I thank you for the blood of Jesus healing now. Chronic illness, go. Be healed, be healed, be healed. Paralysis, go now. Go, be healed, be healed. Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you for this family. 
I release supernatural strength and encouragement even where she's been weary in her mind, even where she's been carrying this burden. God, I thank you that this family is walking in wholeness and healing now in the name of Jesus. Ooh. Yes, power of God now. Be released, be released, be released, be released. Cycles broken. I speak to mitochondria. I speak even on the cellular level. Healing now. Oh, Power of God. Wow. Come on, just stay there. Heal now. Wow. Chronic illness. Chronic illness is going to be exchanged for repeated praise. See, that phrase chronic means repeat. That phrase chronic means repeat. But day and night, night and day, the incense will arise. Lupus, I cancel. Lupus, chronic illness, go. Now. Pain, gone now. Healing power, release now. Whoa. Whoa. There it is. Wow. This woman is touching the throne of God with her faith. She's making a withdrawal. I feel it transacting in the spirit realm like a lightning rod. The Lord. Whoa. Chronic pain. Chronic sickness be healed now. Healed now. Now. Restore, 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 restore. Restore. Father, healing. Come on, stay here, stay here. Healing now. Yes, 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 there it is, there it is. Oh, yes, yes, spirit of infirmity, spirit of sickness, go! I will renew your youth as the eagle. You will run and not grow weary. You will walk and not faint. I release supernatural strength right now. Your youth is being renewed. Your youth. A new chapter. A new chapter. A new chapter. A new chapter. Your youth. Your youth. Wow. Wow. Power of God. Be released. Be released. More, more, more. Wow. Yes. Thank you, Father. Wow. Power of God. Be released now. Yes. Wow. Wow. Oh, healing virtue. Supernatural extension. Oh, oh. Wow, the anointing. The anointing. Wow. Pastor Natalie, can you put your hand on her stomach? There it is. Anointing. Yes. I break the bondage of sickness. I break the bondage of dis-ease. Now. Ooh. Who else? Chronic illness? What's that? I feel weak all the time. Tired and weak all the time. That's demonic. It's demonic. The enemy's afraid of you. The enemy's afraid of you. I, Satan is afraid of you. He's afraid of you because of what you represent, because of what's on your life. And there's a boldness. I'm going to release a fire over you right now because this is the end of weakness and tiredness. Now, in the name of Jesus, I break every single curse of tiredness, lethargy, weakness. Loose her body now. Let her go now in the name of Jesus. And I release the fire of God to begin to consume her now. A greater anointing. A greater anointing. 
every lingering virus, every lingering thing hiding in even her blood, I command it to die now in the name of Jesus. And I sever every ungodly soul tie. I sever every ungodly soul tie. Now, out, out, every spirit connected to her past, come out. Out. Okay, I just felt a major shift. <laughs> I'm coming back over there for in a second, but I just felt a shift in the atmosphere. Did you feel it? What's going on? She just wants. Does she just want you to pray for her? I can't go anywhere. Oh, desperate, huh? Come on. Okay, I'm going to pray for you in a moment. I'm going to pray for you in a moment. Yeah. Put your bag down. Put your bag down. Just lift your hands. Wow. This woman is desperate. She needs a healing, y'all. Stretch your hands in her direction and just join your faith with me. The desperation is so palpable. I've got good news for you, daughter. Now, wait a second. Before I tell you this, I baptized a man in the Jordan River in Israel. He had such severe food allergies. He was unable to eat hardly any food. It would put him in the bed for days and days if we made one small choice. That was wrong. And he was completely healed. Matter of fact, he's, he still has continued to be healed. This woman came up and she said, Pastor Mike, I have debilitating food allergies, but I got good news for you, lady. I've already seen God heal your condition, and I know that he's no respecter of persons, and he's going to do it again. So right now, in the name of Jesus, I command your body to be healed, 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 healed. I release the power of God from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Now, be healed. There it is. Hey, heal, 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 heal. <laughs> there it is. Heal, heal. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Did you feel that surge? <laughs> I see a relief on you. Do you feel it? <laughs> Do you feel it? Now, you know what? You know what I can't wait for? I can't wait for you to send me the picture of you eating the meal of the celebration of what God just did. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay. I'm going to continue to pray for chronic illness. There's many people up front. But before I do that, there's something for everybody. Now, I don't have enough time to teach all these things. I've got a YouTube channel full of these teachings. But in the Bible, the soul of David was knit to the soul of Jonathan. We know that even biblical covenantal marriage says the two shall become what? One. So we all agree that soul ties exist. Soul ties exist. They're not always bad. But how many of you know that God is a creator, but the devil is an imitator? And the devil will cause there to be ungodly soul ties. You'll be connected by obsessive thoughts. Sometimes you have sex out of wedlock and you sleep with someone and now you move on to another relationship, but you obsessively think about that other person and you can't get over the thoughts. Sometimes you leave a toxic, narcissistic church, but you can't stop thinking about the leadership even though it, it didn't serve you because there's an ungodly soul tie connected to leadership, ungodly soul tie connected to a relationship that you had sexually. There was a woman, I was in Southern Indiana on the Kentucky border. I never met this woman in my life, but she came up for prayer. I saw in the spiritual realm what looked like 50 umbilical cords connected to her back. 
the Holy Spirit said, sever and cut every ungodly soul tie. This woman had gone from church to church seeking deliverance and could never fully get free because no pastor ever dealt with soul ties. The next morning, I was doing a pastor's training and her pastor came up to me and said, that woman that you cut and severed the soul ties off of was a sex worker for years and years. And there's no way you could have ever known that. But when you severed this, the soul ties, she finally got deliverance and I was never able to help her get deliverance. And so right now, there's many of you who have ungodly soul ties from boyfriends, girlfriends, even spouses that you've divorced and you need freedom. If you need freedom from ungodly soul ties, just lift your hands right now. Wow. Now I'm going to warn you, when we cut and sever every ungodly soul tie, there's going to be demons connected to these soul ties that begin to manifest and come out. Sometimes it's sexual perversion. Sometimes it's spirits of Jezebel and Ahab because you were controlled by a parent, controlled by a, 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 a religious figure. With every hand lifted right now, just say this with me. Say, Heavenly Father, forgive me for breaking covenant. Forgive me for all sexual perversion. Forgive me for submitting to ungodly leadership. And right now, I cut and sever every ungodly soul tie, every connection to my past. I sever it now. And every demonic spirit that was connected, I command you to loose me, to come out now. Out! Jezebel, come out now. Ahab, come out now. Out, out, out. Every single spirit connected to ungodly soul ties. Come out now. Out, out. Jezebel, out, out. Come out now. Come out. Come out. Come out. Out, out. There's more. There's more. There's more. No hiding. No hiding. No hiding. Out, out now. <laughs> no hiding. Every single demon connected to ungodly soul ties, I command you to come out. No hiding. No hiding. I see you. You will not get away. You will not reside. I command you out now. Out. Whew. Now. Now. You've tormented her too long. You've tormented her too long and now you must go. Whew. There it is. In the name of Jesus. Come here, Emily. Begin to minister to her. Every spirit of adultery, under the sound of my voice, loose them and come out now. Every spirit of fornication, go. Fornication. Every spirit of fornication and adultery, go now. Wow. Wow. Go. Go. Now. bondage out out break every chain of bondage now every shackle every chain be broken now 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 yes come on break every chain thank you father healing healing every wound healing every wound Yes, 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 yes. You will be free from despair.
despair, you will be free. You will be free. Yes, yes, yes. You will be free. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Freedom, 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 freedom over her mind now. Yes, every stronghold come down. In the name of Jesus, every stronghold in her mind come down now. She will be free. She will be free. Free, 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 free. Wow. Here it is. Here it is. There it is. Wow. Come on, just stay there. Stay there. There's more. Who here was in the front for chronic illness? I, I didn't pray for everybody. Okay, all of you of chronic illness? Wow. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. Be healed. We release the word of the Lord. Be healed. We release the word of the Lord. Be healed. Be healed now. Be healed now. We will believe the report of the Lord. We will believe the report of the Lord. Wow. Wow. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. We will believe the report of the Lord. What a woman of faith. Wow, what a woman of faith. <laughs> what a woman of faith. I hear the Lord saying that you will have the last laugh. I hear Him saying that you will have the last laugh. Matter of fact, He's vindicating you. I don't know what this means, but He's saying you were right. You were right. You were right. And there's a vindication and a validation coming upon you right now. Move powerfully in the prophetic. I commission you to move powerfully in the things of the Spirit. Even more so, dream. There's such a prophetic swirl all around you right now. Wow. <laughs> Lord, I release a greater dimension of authority in the things of the Spirit over her now. There's a mantle coming upon you for the prophetic, for the prophetic even more. The Lord says you've been faithful with what I've given you, but you're stepping into more. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's such a prophetic anointing. I'm releasing an impartation. Yes. Wow. Wow. You're known in heaven. You're known. You're known. You're known. You're known. You're known in heaven. Faithful intercessor. Faithful prayer warrior. Faithful, faithful. You're known. Mountain mover. Mountain mover. Oh, receive it. I want to say this about chronic illness. I want to say this. There's many people here. <laughs> Listen, that's all right. I told you there's going to be the screams of God's people and there's going to be screams of demons tormented in this atmosphere. So when you hear that, it's just something we celebrate. But I feel something here on this stop that I haven't felt in our other locations. Do you guys feel it? I feel a strong prophetic mantle in this region. I feel a strong prophetic mantle. And I, I believe that this chronic illness, because there's so many of you, I believe it's an assignment to stop the prophetic mantle in this region. And so I want to make a declaration. If you want to step in with me, step in. Prophets arise! Prophets arise! Prophets arise, 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 arise. Prophets arise, prophets arise, arise, arise. Prophets arise, prophets arise. The anointing, prophets arise. Hey, shame that can activate, activate, activate. More, 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 more. You've been faithful, but now you're being empowered with more, more, more. Prophets arise. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I hear the Lord saying that you've 
you've waited and you've waited and you've waited and you've waited and you've said when, when, waited, waited, waited. But I believe that you are, you are going to see the fulfillment of the things that you knew in the Spirit. You, you have refused to relent. You have refused to back down. But there's a weariness that comes with waiting. And the Lord is breaking that off of you. I believe that He's breaking that off of you now and restoring your soul. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much, Lord. Yeah. 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 Come on, just stay. Thank you so much. Father, receive it. <laughs> yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. Years. 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 I just see years, years, layers and layers and layers. The Lord's dealing with it right now. He's dealing with it right now. He's dealing with it right now. This woman represents a sign to many of you right now who have years of, of things that need to come out right now. Pain from the past is coming out. Years, years. She represents a sign. Come on, if this is you, lift your hands and receive it as she receives it. Years coming out now coming out now come on egypt can't follow you to the promised land i said egypt can't follow you to the promised land oh yes pain from years come out there it is oh yes out 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 yes years 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 there it is there it is there it is there it is Wow, wow, wow. Yes, yes, yes. Daddy's girl. Your daddy's girl. Your daddy's girl. He's, he's telling me to tell you. Daddy's girl. You belong to him. This is daddy's girl. This is daddy's girl. You belong to him. Don't you know that he'll take care of you? Don't you know that He knows your need before you say it? Don't you know that He cares for you? I hear the Lord saying, I've heard your cry. I've heard your cry. Yes, I've heard you. Yes, I'm responding. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, come on. You're having an encounter with His love. You're having an encounter with His love. His love casts out all fear. His love casts out all fear. You will not die prematurely. 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 You will live. You will live. You will live. Premature death. Who here? Who here has premature death that runs in your family? Is there anybody? Accidental death. Premature death. With every hand lifted right now. Come here. This man. You. Come here. Come here. Who is it? Lift up your hands. Yeah. We break the curse of premature death off of you now. I break the curse of premature death off of you. Devil! You can't have him. You can't have his daughter. You can't have his family. Loose him! And let him go. He belongs to Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I command every vexing, tormenting spirit to go now. Premature death. Go, go, go. Go now, now. Go. Fire of God, fall. Fall. Fire of God, fall. Fire, fall. Baptize them in the Holy Spirit. The Lord wants to empower you right now. You are going to be the dad you never had. You are the dad you never had. You are the dad you never had. That's your destiny. That's your destiny. And he's proud of you. He's proud of you. God is proud of you. Yes, 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 yes. Come on, it's okay to cry. When you are weak, then you're strong. Yeah, come on. You got to let that pain out. Come on, you got to let that pain out. You are going to be the dad. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Come on. There it is. 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 Wow, he's just melting under the anointing right now. Premature death canceled now. Premature death canceled right now. <laughs> wow. 
Come on, we got just a little bit more to go. Be healed now in the name of Jesus. Wow. Wow. More, 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 more. Oh. Wow. Now I want to explain something. Because there's people who say, oh, these people are falling over. Let me explain. When two powers meet, the lesser power falls. We don't push people over. We don't push them over. We don't force them over. I'm telling you, I went to go pray for that woman. What you're seeing up here, this is not Pentecostalism. This is the glory of God when His presence begins to come down in a place. When two powers meet, the lesser power falls. Okay. Hidden. We're almost done. My, my, my. Is it really almost 10 o'clock? Hallelujah! Okay, we got to do some heavy lifting right now. But let me tell you how this thing ends. We're not there yet because the Lord's doing so much. How many of you just feel the most free you've felt in a long time? All right, where's one of... I need a team member who's available. Maybe a team member, one of my... Or you're on, yeah, come on. Okay, take care of your PSA. Okay, I want you to like uh, start soliciting people for testimonies if they have them so we can share some stories. Okay, okay. yep. And just ask the leaders and see if there's any testimony. People are getting free, I love it. I'll tell you what, we wreaked havoc on the enemy today, but we're not done, there's still... If you know anything about Jesus, he saves the best for last. If you know anything about Jesus, he does the most in overtime. He'll wait till the very end. He's not done. Okay. But how this thing ends is every single one of you filled with the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues of angels and men, completely free. It's going to end with a dance party. We're not there yet, but it's coming. All right. Now, if you have a story that's in the audience, a testimony of healing or deliverance, find a team member because we want to hear your story. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Father. We thank you for healing, healing and delivering. We thank you, Lord, for setting them free. We thank you, Jesus. Every sickness bows, 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 it bows, it bows, it bows. We thank you, Jesus, for healing. Lift your hands, lift your hands. Father, I thank you for restoring and healing. <laughs> wow, more, more, more of the power of God. Yes, yes, every single cell of her body restore because of your faithfulness the Lord is reversing reversing even the effects of the attack that's been on your life wow thank you God for healing touching thank you God for healing thank you for healing thank you Jesus Jesus wow 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 Thank you, Father.
He's just freeing you from that. And you're going to be confident in who you are. And he's freeing you from even distractions and confusion that's been in your mind. So I want to lay my hand on your head one more time and release supernatural peace. Okay. So Father, I thank you for supernatural peace. You're different. You're different, and that's okay. You're different than your friends. They don't have to understand you. There's a boldness coming over you because you're actually a warrior. You're actually a fighter, and you're dangerous to the enemy. And you're not, you don't have to be like your friends. Matter of fact, yeah, there it is. There's the anointing breaking off of this, every single bondage off of you right now. Yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Come on. Yeah. False identity be broken. False identity is being broken off of her right now. now. I want to say what the Lord's telling me over this one right now because she's, I'm going to continue praying for you. There's more. She's assigned to the rest of you. Is there anybody here who has always felt misunderstood? Maybe comparison with other people because I believe the Lord's releasing identity just like I said. Would you lift your hands because there's a boldness coming over you now. To everybody else who wants to receive it, I release supernatural identity to be imparted by your Father. I hear the roar of a lioness. I hear the roar of a lioness. I hear a roar of a lioness. Boldness, boldness, boldness now. Father, I thank you for your warriors rising up. For your warriors rising up. Fill her with your Holy Spirit and fire. Fill her with your Holy Spirit. Come on, don't hold back. This is your moment. This is your time. Don't hold back the Holy Spirit and fire. Yes, more, 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 more. Yes, more, more. Thank you, Father. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Yes. Wait a little bit more. Here, fire. Richard was saying 10, 15, or 10, 30, latest stop. The Lord says you've supported everyone else. You've encouraged everyone else. But he says, I support you. I encourage you. I've got your back. He's just telling me to tell you that you've been strong for others. He's strong for you. Just receive it. Yes, yes, yes. Broken expectations. Broken expectations are being healed. Broken expectations are being healed. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Yes. Wow. <laughs> yes. Wow. <laughs> there is such a strong anointing here tonight. Come on, make a withdrawal. Come on, I'm not done. Make a withdrawal. Oh, however much you want. However much you want. However much you want. However much you want. More power. More anointing. There it is. Yeah. There it is. He's empowering you. He's empowering you. Oh, yes, Shendre Bekete. Okay. All right, I need God's help now. I really need his help. Let me tell you what's happening. We just got word that they're only giving us a few more minutes, literally. But I got good news for you. I got good news for you. This is the domino revival. And the good news that I have for you is there's about to be a wave of God's presence, a wave of his glory, a wave of deliverance and healing that moves through. And you're going to be activated, empowered, and you're going to do greater things. Come on, it's Thursday, but your Friday is going to be more powerful than your Thursday. Your Saturday is going to be more powerful than your, than your Friday. Come on, they're kicking us out of this spot. They've been so gracious to let us use it. We come up on our time. But how many of you believe that God can do it right now, right now, right now, right now? Lift up your faith. Lift up your faith with me right now. Lift up your faith. Whatever you want from God, you can have it right now. Whatever you need. Come on, the finger of God can deliver you right now. Come on, no person has to touch you. Now, 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 now. Heal, God, heal, deliver, set free. Now, 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 Lord God. Now, now, heal, heal from the front to the back. Heal. Now, God, do it only. Do it all you can do. It 
your faith on our live stream weeks ago there was a worship leader I thought he was speaking Spanish he's Hispanic I couldn't hardly hear we found out later that day he, well he came to me he said pastor Mike I was speaking in tongues on stage I've never done that we found out later on that he was speaking fluent Brazilian because someone wrote in and they told him they said since when did you learn Brazilian? And he said, I don't know Brazilian. I was just speaking in tongues. And the person was saying, you were saying the phrase, I give all my devotion to you. I give up. And so, and so you can go back to the live stream and you can listen to a man speak fluent Brazilian who never learned Brazilian. And he was declaring, God, I give all my devotion to you over and over. So in a few moments, we're going to pray that you are baptized with the Holy Spirit and fire and you receive the gift of tongues. I, I've been told... Where, where's the... Hey, the what are today. they? Oh, right here. No, what are they? Uh, I'm not sure. No. Find out what they are. All right. Because I want you to leave empowered. I want you to leave empowered. Come on, we're almost done. The Lord is still doing so much. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. There's an old well of revival being opened. There's an old well of revival being opened in Connecticut. Do I have any pastors here? Are there any pastors here in our midst? Are there any pastors here? Come on, bring the pastors up front real quick. Come on, if you're a pastor of a local church, if you're a pastor, line the front. I'm about to release some mantles and impartation. No, 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 right here, right here, right here, right here. Yeah, come on. Pastors, pastors. How many of you are thankful for our shepherds? Thankful for our pastors. Just fill this front section if you're a pastor. I want to lay hands on you. <laughs> I feel your faith. You want to see more. Come here for a second. What was your name? Giovanni. Giovanni, this is your wife? Yeah, Okay, come up on stage. Okay, now I want you to face everybody. Get used to this view because this is the new normal. Because revival has come. I want you to see it with your own eyes. Come on, where are my pastors at? Who else? Come on up. Come up, come up. Who else? My pastors. Pastors? Ministers? Okay, come up, come up. Okay, I want you to take a look. Take a look. This is the new normal. This is the new normal. Because revival has come. This is the new normal. Okay, I need my team to stand behind them just in case. I want to pray for you guys. Here, come on over here. Come on. We got to hurry. We got to hurry. Yeah, move this way. Team, go behind them. Now in the Bible, it talks about impartation. Impartation is the laying on of hands. The apostles laid hands and there was an impartation. And I'm telling you, Acts chapter 19 is what happens when people try to do ministry without impartation. But when you receive an impartation, I'm not here to be a one man show. I'm here with an apostolic mandate to release an impartation of the anointing so that when I find, when I call and I say, yo, how's Connecticut? You say, Pastor Mike, no offense, but that night that you were there was the weakest night we've had because things are increasing. 
minister? You? Okay, come over here. And so right now, I'm going to pray for them. Then there's going to be an impartation all over you. Now, let me tell you, the Bible doesn't say that one special person will cast out demons. Matter of fact, the disciples, there were 12. Then Jesus sent out the 72. Then there was the upper room. Then there were thousands. And so the gifts of the Spirit are still active. Demons are still to be cast out by all believers. Somebody shout all. You will pray for the sick and they will recover. You can pray. Not just a pastor. Somebody say all. Oh. So I'm going to pray for the pastors first. And then I'm going to pray over all of you. And we're going to receive an impartation of the Holy Spirit and fire. Are you ready? Fire. Father, we just release an impartation of your glory now. There it is. There it is. There it is. An impartation. Oh, you've been faithful with the dimension of authority and influence you've been given. But more, more, <laughs> more, <laughs> more, 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 more. You will have many spiritual sons. You're fruitful. You're fruitful. You will have many spiritual sons. Many spiritual sons. More. Hey, revivalist, 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 a revivalist. A revivalist! A revivalist! They can't stop you! They can't shut you down! Revivalist! Yes! Receive it! Receive it! More! 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 Yeah! Yes! Fire everywhere you go! Fire! Fire everywhere you go! Yes! Yes! Yes, yes, yes. God will set you up over a region and he will give you, give you dominion, dominion, dominion. He's giving you dominion. He's giving you dominion, 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 dominion. Yes, more authority. More, 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 more. Boom. More, more, an impartation of the anointing. More, yes. more dominion, more authority, more power. Yes, Lord, thank you, Father. Wow, wow. <laughs> Watch out, Connecticut. Watch out, Connecticut. Watch out. There's nowhere safe. There's nowhere safe from the enemy now. If you want to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, if you want to receive an impartation of the anointing, lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands all over this place. Now I want you, on the count of three, don't speak English. Don't speak your native language. On the count of three, it's an activation of your tongues. On the gift, on the count of three, it's the Holy Spirit and fire over Connecticut. Ah, I feel, oh, 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 one, two, three, now, 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 speak it out now, the Holy Spirit and fire, eh, 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 we just got married today come on come on anointing 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 the Lord is imparting something to you right now oh you're a giant in the spiritual realm you're a giant in the spiritual realm you're a giant in the spiritual realm you're a power to be reckoned with through Christ Yes, 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 anointing, 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 fall, anointing, fall, anointing, fall, bro, bro, yeah, come on, there it is, there it is, there it is, there it is, you're a new, you're going to find a new path, you're a pioneer, 
You're a pathfinder. You're a pioneer. You're a pathfinder. You're a pioneer. You will find the way. You will find the way. You're a liberator. You're a liberator. You're a liberator. You're a liberator. Daughters, 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 daughters. Pathfinder, liberator, rush under the bullshit. You've underestimated your importance. You've underestimated your importance. You've underestimated your importance. I got a bullshit. Pathfinder, pathfinder. Oh, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I don't Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Come on, we pray for you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Anoint, anoint, anoint. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Come on. Come on. You know why I came back here? I worked my way back here just to come to you. Because the Lord sees you. Just like David was on the back side of the hill. And saw and Samuel said, There's another. I see you in the spirit. Matter of fact, out of all the people here, I identify with you most in the spirit. All night I've seen you. I'm gonna pray for you right now because God's gonna use you like like a Davidic anointing on your life to raise up warriors in caves. The cave of Adullam, don't forget that phrase. I want you to study it. That's your mantle, the cave of Adullam. Are you ready? The cave of Adullam. Wow. Yeah, lift your hand. Thank you, Father, for touching now. Wow. <laughs> yes, yes, wow. You'll never be the same. You're being transformed. You're being transformed right now. You're being transformed. You'll be someone different tomorrow when you wake up. You will be someone different tomorrow. You're coming out of the cocoon. Coming out of the cocoon. Butterfly, butterfly, butterfly. You're not a caterpillar anymore. You're not a caterpillar anymore. The Lord said you gotta see. Show her, God. Show her what I see. Show her, show her what I see, God. Butterfly, butterfly, butterfly. Oh, Rayanobo, Shandrebe. Yes, there it is. New identity, new identity. Download, download, download into her mind. Shandrebe. Oh, lift your hands. You want to be prayed for? <laughs> I, do your friends say, like, man, you're crazy, you'll do anything kind of guy? No? Because I, the Lord, you're not a Christian? No, they aren't. Yeah, they are? They are? Okay. Listen, this is what I feel like the Lord told me. I'm going to pray, I'm gonna pray for you right now. That you are about to radicalize. Like, your anointing is going to be fun. I know that sounds, I, does that make sense? He was, it's going to be like an atomic bomb of fun. And it's actually just as anointed as all my screaming and craziness. But it's you, okay? So I want to release that over you, okay? Does that make sense? Like your anointing is fun, but it's like atomic, the Lord's showing you. <laughs> and it's going to make me cry. But there's going to be many people who tell you I didn't kill myself because of you. So Father, I just thank you right now for an anointing of joy, 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 joy. Praise <laughs> Shane Thank Come on, come on, come on. I told you it ends in a celebration. There is freedom. There is freedom. Get up, get up, get up. Freedom, 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 freedom
Let's lift up one more shout before the Lord. Now, I want to say this before we close. Boston is tomorrow and it's not that far. And so if you want to double dip, I'd love to see you in Boston. Because listen, we're about to turn this northeast upside down.